Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is a lower body work it circuit. Okay, in this workout, I'm gonna have a set of 15s, a set of 20s, a space, a set of 25s, a set of 30s, a space, and then I'm also gonna add in a ab exercise at the end. So seven different exercises in the circuit. Each exercise will be for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. We'll repeat each circuit twice through. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today then. You could use the weights that I'm using. I'll have mine listed at the end of each exercise at the top of the screen, or lift within your own abilities. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. traditional strength on the watch today. Uh, you can hold on to something for balance. Let's just do that open door. So we're gonna lift the knee up. You're gonna open, come back to the front and down. You've got 10 a leg, that's three. Up, open, and four. The other knee is soft, the one you're standing on. Good, four more here. Last one on this side. And switch your side. Knees up, open, and one. Good. Halfway, five more. Last one here. Good, and let's go into a static lunge, pelvic tilt. Drop low each side, stretching that back hip flexor. We'll just do 10 per leg here. Okay, get the front to glute warmed up a bit as well. Last one on this side, and switch. All right, straight up and down. Good, holding the wall again, we're gonna flex the foot. And just give me a nice little swing here, 15 a leg. There's 10, five more this side. And switch legs and swing, foot is flexed up. Five more here. Very nice, wide stance. Hand to toe touch, stretching those hamstrings out a bit. One more here. Good, you're gonna squat low. If you can't get down into this position, just hit some squats here to warm those glutes up. All right, stand and squat. Keep your hands on your feet for eight. Last one here. Now let's finish off with some calf raises. 15 right here. Swing those arms. 10 more. Last one here. All right. There is the first few exercises. We're going to round the whole mat, two rounds, and here we go. I will start with 115. And again, if you need to lift lighter, 
feel free to switch with your weight. We're gonna do an alternating front lunge with that pass under. All right, so super tall. I'll go this way so you can see, and we lunge. Pass it under, other side lunge, and pass under. Now, if you're not loving the pass, of course, you could just hold that right here for your front lunge, okay? Just hit myself in the hip there. <laughs> Good one. All right, super tall. Drop, good. Setting that down, I'll hold just 120 on this one here too. Moving into that side lunge, reaching hips back, same side, and I'll call half. Shoulders back, back is tall, we lunge, reach and tap, that's it. Last one on this side. All right, switch hands, other leg, lunge. And into your cardio. Set that weight down. Okay, you're gonna do two knees, two butt kicks, knee, knee, butt, butt. Ready, here we go. One, two, one, two. Okay, using that 25, I'm just gonna use one. We're gonna go into that goblet squat. Feet are shoulder width apart. Shoulders back, drop nice and low. And you're low, and drive. Very nice. And on my back, holding that 30 on my pelvis for my glute thrusts. Okay, have a good hold on it. Feet are close to the bottom and pulse at the top. So you're up, pulse and drop. Up, up and down. Squeeze those glutes at the top. You're gonna stay down here for that ab exercise. Oh, sorry, we're gonna do cardio first. Never mind. <laughs> All right, up for cardio. 
All right, move it into your frog squat here for low impact. Drop those glutes and work. You're here, low. Nice, quick sit before the abs. All right, hip hop, bend and extend, or hip hop extension. Pop your hips, bend and extend. Little pop to the ceiling, bend and extend. Up you get, round two, back to that front lunge with a dumbbell pass. I'm sticking with the 15. Here, alternate the front lunge, nice and tall. We drop and pass, good, switch. I'll hold the 120 for my side lunge. You can change the weights as well if you need. If you're like, oh, that first round was too hard or easy, then switch. I'll call half, reach and tap. Last one on this side, switch sides, take a step, switch your weight, reach. <sighs> Cardio. Two knees, two butt kicks. You're here if you don't need the break. Two knees and butt here, here. Goblet squat. 
holding my 25. Drop it low. on the ground into the glute thrust pulse with my 30. <clears throat> pulse at the top. Have a good handle on your dumbbell. Up, pulse, drop, up, squeeze, down. If you want to switch the order of the cardio and ab, feel free. I'll do it how it's written, but it would have made more sense to just stay on the ground. <laughs> you do what you'd like. It's not bad getting up and down and up and down though. It's good exercise. Just saying. <laughs> Whew, those glutes. Cardio, you got your frog squats. Make sure there's no weights in your path here. All right, drop the ground. Nice wide stance so you can get low. If you can't touch the ground, you're just reaching down as low as you can. Otherwise, drop the glutes low enough to tap if you can. the abs here hip hop extension and then we got our new circuit coming up all right little pop bend and extend let's work up and low to the ground Halfway, stay with me here. Very nice. All right, quick water break. Check out the screen and see what's coming up next. Going into my pendulum swing, I'll hold a 15. You could do this without weight if you wish as well. Front lunge, back lunge, I'll call half and then we'll switch our static leg. All right, ready, switch hands here too. So we lunge, then you switch, reverse, switch, front, good. Stay tall. All right, switch your stationary leg and lunge. Switch hands, lunge. Good. 
you into your suitcase squat. Now feel free to go lighter if you wish. I'll hold those 20s, holding them at my side, keeping my chest up and out and back straight. All right, bend down and drive. There it is, into your cardio. I'm gonna do ice skaters. Here's low impact. I'm gonna add the pause and practice my stability work here. Let's go, pause. Feel free to move faster if you wish. deadlifts. Okay, I'm gonna stick with those 25s here. That's okay for me, but go lighter if you need. Knees are soft. We'll hinge at the waist. And you're slow. Two, three, and power. Nice neutral neck. I'm just looking at the ground. Right out in front of me, not at my toes or knees, just right out one, two feet in front. Moving to my 130 for the plie. Squat. Okay, go lighter if you wish. Toes are out, knees over the toes. We're low and lift. Squeeze your glutes at the top here. Contract. Let's go. Into your cardio. I'm doing that two jack scissor. So you can modify right here with four scissors or four tap backs on uh, Newman. Shoelace, get ready. And jack, jack, four, three, Two, one, jack. Four, three, two, one.
All right, on your back for your starfish. Opposite hand taps opposite toe. Stay in your back here for a modification. Okay, round two, just one more of these. Going back to your pendulum swing. I'm sticking with the 15, front and back lunges. I'll call half. All right, we lunge to the front, switch hands, lunge to the back, switch hands. Last one here, switch your static leg, lunge, reverse. Into your suitcase squats. I'll stick with those 20s, itch, itch. All right, mm. feet shoulder width and tall. into that cardio. Whew, those heavier weights kick the heart rate up. 162, <laughs> doesn't feel that high. I'm huffing and puffing though, ice skater. Pause if you need or wish. Here we go. I like to pause because I'm practicing using the eccentric phase of my muscle. Stopping myself, stopping a body in motion. See, I didn't do it there. <laughs> this will be important if you ever trip or fall, which happens all the time in our lives. Are your muscles available to you to catch you? Okay. Deadlifts, 25s, feel good for me. All right, slow and controlled on the descent, power up on the ascent, slow. Two, three, up. Last here, 
Nice. All right. Plie with the 30. Yikes, it Italy. See, we're just getting heavier as the day goes on here. <laughs> Wide stance. You drop and drive. Cardio. Again, make sure none of the weights are in the way. Two jacks, four scissor, and work. One, two, four, three, two, one. Starfish. Okay. Whew. I like a nice starfish. Oh, opposite hand taps the toe on your back or up to the tailbone and work here and switch. Hug it out there for a second. Nice job. One more circuit. Take a look at the screen and join me back. Moving into my reverse lunges. I'm gonna stay on the same side and then I'll call half. I'm gonna do a reverse lunge kick. All right, because I like it. You can tap if you're too tippy. All right, same side. Drop it low. You're here and kick. Last one on this side and switch legs. Nice balance practice here as well. <sighs> Boom. Into my Suitcase squat reverse deadlift, formerly known as the Monica, but I got tired of explaining what that was. <laughs> okay, I'm holding the 20s. Squat, then hips come up, and then we reverse that deadlift. Squat, hip hinge, and stand. That's it. Super flat back as you drive the hips forward on that uh, hinge part.
Set those down. A little easier cardio because I am going into a heavy front squat. Jack and skip right here. That's low impact. Jack skip. I'm gonna hold the 25s on the front squat. You could hold one or lighten your weight, whatever you wish. Rack it in the front. Core engaged and drop. She was heavy. I'm going into a single dumbbell deadlift. All right, feel free to do another leg exercise if your back's had it from the deadlifts. Wide stance, I'm holding the 30. All right, so I hinge, I pause, I drive and squeeze. Slow, back flat, drive. You are bending the knees quite a bit. It's like a sumo deadlift, so hinging at the waist. Knees are not the stiff one that we saw in our last round of deadlifts. We've got more bend, kind of like into that squat and drive and squeeze at the top. Nice. Okay, cardio is gonna be that sprinter hop. So I'm gonna get low, drive, that's my low impact. I'll call half and we'll switch. Make sure your area is clear. Okay, take it low, drive it here with a hop or not. Think about what leg is going back because this is the last time on that side. Now switch. Other leg is back, knee goes up. Phew. All right, 10 scissors, 10 flutter kicks on your back, 10 and 10. Hands under the bottom if you want to support that lower back. Start with flutter, ready. Go for 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, and scissor here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, flutter here and a one, two, five, Six, nine, ten, and scissor here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, and flutter. One, two, four, six, 
and eight. Ah, all right. Round two. Last one, everyone. Whew, getting sweaty. Reverse lunges into that high knee. Make sure you're not dizzy. Take your time if you need more time. Oh, the back of my hands are itchy right now from sweat and nerve endings. I hate that. All right, switch legs. Don't make that lunge too drastic. Okay, keep it close, drop straight up and down. All right, suitcase squat, deadlift, reverse deadlift, holding 20s. And work, drop, hip hinge and stand. Very nice. Into cardio, which is your jack skip. Mod if you need. Okay, fronts, oh yeah. This was hard. Okay, you can do it. Up, up, front squat here. Flex quads at the top. It's enough for me. Sprinter hop. Whew. She's heavy, folks. She is heavy. All right, I'll call half. Power skip if you don't want to do this one. Here we go, low and drive. You have to have some good hip flexibility to drop down into this position, so I know we're not all there. Switch, other leg goes back, this one. <laughs> oh, 
last exercise. All right, on your back. Whew. We forgot that. Damn Sam. Okay, I'll come back to it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and switch for one, two, and switch and flutter. And scissor. And flutter. All right, let's get that deadlift in. I probably forgot about you for a reason. All right, holding that 30. Now last exercise, sorry folks. Knees are soft and hinge. Slow, two, pause, two, three, and drive. Good. Fifteen seconds. In four, three, two, one and done. You move daily in your lower body work at circuit with some abs. That was great. Well done, everyone. Thanks for joining. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's workout. Don't forget to be subscribed to this channel too. Okay, you can just tap the button at the bottom of the, my page there, then you click the little bell and it turns on notifications and it lets you know when I put out a new workout. All right, let's stretch it out. Let's make our way down to the ground. Nice work, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna cross right at the knees, grab those ankles, draw them in for a great glute stretch. If you can't do this type of stretch, do that four stretch. Okay, you do need, again, some hip, mobility in this guy. So just draw that down toward you. Oh, Nelly, that was not too bad. I, sorry about that last round where I just missed the order. <laughs> like the dumbbells were right there too. Switch sides, did I not see that big 30 pounds sitting there? Maybe not. I was selecting to ignore it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, good work. Yeah, speaking of this exercise here and hip flexibility and mobility, uh, do you have it? Let's do a hamstring stretch. Do you feel like you are limber in the hips, in your shoulders, in your ankles, in your thoracic spine? Those are some main areas that are really important to keep your mobility in. Switch sides, right? And as I sort of instructed during that ice skater, that is practicing recruiting the muscle in an eccentric phase. So as the muscle is working to slow you down and stop you, different muscle fibers have to recruit in order for your muscle to enact and you know keep you, keep you from falling down. Let's let those legs fall gently to one side. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. But if you don't practice that, how do you expect that that's gonna be available to you if you ever do trip or fall, right? And I think over time, this has happened to me too, switch sides, it, it's that old adage, when you don't use it, you lose it, is so true with aging and your ligaments and joints. They just can start to atrophy, they can start to get too tight, um, they can start to get brittle and fragile when you don't bear weight on them and if you don't stick with a good range of motion. That is so big, that's what I'm, I'm really learning is that range of motion. Let's come to a seated position. Let's go into this 90-90 stretch. For an example, can you put your chest down to your leg? If you cannot, you might have some really tight hips, hip flexor, um, that ball and socket in the hip joint is probably really tight. And that is something that you can improve upon and work on, and you should. As you age, let's come and turn toward that trail leg, drop those shoulders. 
So this is the type of stuff that we're doing in my new program called The Limber Life, switch down again. They're just short little classes, probably between, what is it, six and 12 minutes a day, a couple times a week, maybe four times a week, where you're just, come to the trail leg again. See, you can feel this right here, can't you? In that tensor fasci latte that wraps around here. And just practicing things like mobility in your hips, again, shoulders, thoracic spine, ankles. All right, let's go into this 40-40, or 90-90 rather, 40-40, uh, right here a little bit. So practicing that is, is crucial. This is a great way to warm up those hips. At the beginning of any of your workouts, you could do this. All right, we're gonna camp on this side now. Sit tall and hinge chest on your leg. Is one side tighter than the other? So then you maybe have some imbalances and this is perhaps something that you wanna go see a physiotherapist for and get really specific exercises. Come to the trail leg for that side, right? I've had issues with this hip and this shoulder. So I myself have seen physiotherapists multiple times for those issues. Back down to this lead leg. And then also in the limber life, we do something called dynamic neuromuscular stabilization or DNS flow. And it's so wonderful. Let's come back here. It's like you're getting back to those movements that you used to do as a child, but then you stop doing over time because you learn to compensate other muscles, right? So it's, again, it's movements like this. You're reaching for things. What would a child do? And um, yeah, so it's good, it's good to practice. And that's what the Limber Life's about. You can click or tap it in the description below and take a look. I, I show you all of the classes that you get on the website there. So you can take a look exactly what you're gonna get, what you can work on, stretches, uh, you know, just little daily things I think that keep you limber as you age. That's what we want. Mm. All right, big stretch up, exhale, grab those toes, draw them in. Thanks for joining everyone. Go move daily now in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.